Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I'm going to teach you uh, the next part of uh, shopping cart project. In this part you can see that uh, when we click on the proceed to pay and the make purchase. So first of all uh, add the stripe method in, uh, in this project and after that uh, we can go for uh, the next uh, topic. Okay. So first of all um, going for the add migration and in the last video tutorial you can see that uh, uh, in the last video tutorial you did see that uh, about the stripe methods. So in this video I am going to first uh, to check the stripe uh, account and uh, before going to a stripe account first of all make migrations in the project and uh, here we have a order header and the order detail table. So just after that you can add uh, just now that command that is the update database command. So here we have a update database command and uh, the next thing to add in the project that is update database. Okay that's fine. Now your table uh, have to add it into the database and uh, the next thing to uh, to run your project and see the outputs okay and uh, first of all check the proceed to pay and the make purchase when we click on the make purchase your uh, project will go for the stripe accounts to test for testing amount per, uh, topics so the email is test at the red .com and the card informations you have to test with your test card in the stripe accounts so just stripe and uh, here we have a stripe testing account so just copied it here and paste the card number for the visa and the month and the expiry you can add uh, like 24 and 27 etc and uh, United State is the country okay and that is line is XY chart zip and the city and the state is also mentioned at here okay and the next thing is processing the amount will be processing and uh, just go okay that's fine now oops uh, the order id is created because the order id is one you can see and the next part is going for the next processor where is order x access is integer id and you will you can see that uh, here we have a order success and id vm dot order header id so uh, here we have a uh, the session dot payment status dot to lower is double equals to paid then go for it okay so after the uh, after the things will happening the payment status will be payment status uh, approved okay and the uh, and after that we have to delete the cart informations from the card table So just go for the order success and uh, create a new view for that. Oops. Just create a razor view instead of razor view empty. And just create to uh, click to add buttons to create a razor view for the order success. Okay. In the scaffolding you have to take some times for the order success. That you have to add these things in the page. that's nice and uh, and uh, your order is success and your order, order ID is this okay now test it again and uh, hmm, can't reach this page when we click on the order ID he is this generated because uh, that thing is uh, okay it's not run 
and it will take time to so wait for some times and uh, okay and the next thing is to going to the card first of all add some card details and again uh, do the same things for the payment information okay now going to the card and press C to pay, pay make purchase and here we have a card stripes and the next thing is to do testing stripes now copy that uh, card information and the uh, card details name on the card check up and the states zip one two three four five okay new york okay now oops because actually uh, it's uh, leave for that time and the next thing uh, and the next after that we have to resolve this problem so first of all leave that uh, on this time and make it http get a default http get okay now after that uh, you have to uh, the next thing is to session information because cart is empty and uh, not showing the proper information about the card items so you have to add in the layout page in the layout a page you have to add uh, this two name space uh, and service the first one is the service that is injectable and the uh, and one one for the http for the name space okay so here we have a cart action method uh, cart uh, action link so just first of all select these and remove this thing and you have to add that thing http contact dot http contact dot session get integer 32 session card is not equals to null then you have to add uh, the http contact dot http contact dot session dot get integer 32 that is the car session card information if it is not null and if it is null then we'll show the zero uh, in the card so here we have cart will be zero if it is not uh, not any item in the list in the cart so you have to check it again oops session is not configured properly so just go for the program.cs file and uh, make session configured so here we have builder.service.add session options option.idle timeout cookies uh, .http only cookies dot is essential is true so the ideal timeout is the 100 minutes for the session and after that uh, you have to use session in the pipeline so app dot use session okay that's fine now just run your project again Okay, the card item um, have to zero. So this resolve this problem uh, by using this. Uh, when we click on any uh, um, detail page in the card, so just go for the home page and and 
and you will see that is the commented uh, code so just uncomment this code and uh, because the http context.session.set integer 32 in the session card uh, when the card item is null so the card uh, session count is this and if it is a card item is not null then increment the card item and show on the screen by using the else node of work dot card dot inti, uh, increment card item card item dot card count so here we have a card item and you can see that uh, where we have a product just go for it and uh, just log in into the system oops what will happen So thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to uh, ASP.NET Core and uh, Project ASP.NET Shopping Cart Project. So thank you guys for watching this video.